First off, what's a shell script? Have you ever wanted to repeat or automate a series of terminal commands? That's the whole idea of a shell script. Any commands that you execute on the command line, you can put into a shell script to be run for you. How do I make a shell script? For starters, shell scripts are simply text files with the file extension .sh. Then, the file simply needs to start with hashtag exclamation point slash bin slash bash on the first line. All of your commands can be followed on new lines, just like you would enter them in order on a terminal. Lastly, you need to add the executable permission to the file to let the Linux file system know this is a file that can be executed by you, the current user. This can be achieved using the command change mod u plus x file name dot sh. Then you execute it like you would a C program using dot slash file name dot sh. What's echo? Sometimes when you're writing shell scripts, just like how it's handy to write print statements in other programming languages, you want to print to the console some messages to inform the user of what's happening. In bash scripting, echo does just that. Simply execute echo, followed by your message within quotes, and it will print. You can even try this on a regular terminal session. Executing echo hello prints hello. This doesn't do too much for the user not being in a bash script, as you can tell. All right, let's start by making a simple shell script that prints hello world to the console and creates a folder called new folder. I'm going to use nano to create a script called hello world.sh. making sure to use that .sh extension we talked about. Then, at the top of my file, I'm going to put the hashtag exclamation point slash bin slash bash line that defines a shell script. Then, I'll put my echo command that says echo hello world. And on a new line, my make directory new folder command. All right, let's save, then exit. Okay, now lastly, we need to add the executable permission to the script by calling change mod plus x for executable, hello world.sh. Now we can execute our script, hello world prints, and calling ls, shows us that our new folder was created. Awesome, 